Good morning guys and happy Thanksgiving! I am cooking today. I'm going to show you what I'm cooking. Well, I'm making baby eggs right now. Look how happy those chickens look. These are organic eggs. We always make, always cook organic eggs for the baby. And I'm going to eat some of those too. I'm going to eat those instead of my shake this morning because I have a lot to do today. Now, um, I'm cooking today, but I'm not, I'm not going crazy. Just going to have, you know, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Uh, it's all gluten free. So I'm just going to show you what I'm cooking that's gluten free, sugar free. I'm going to have pumpkin something. This, finally we have pumpkin in the grocery store and this is always how it comes. I have never seen pumpkin whole here. And on the outside, let me show you what the pumpkin looks like on the outside. Oh, it's getting soft. It's usually this color. Actually, it's usually lighter than that. Mm. Yuck, raw pumpkin. Doesn't taste good. Okay, then we're gonna have some mashed cauliflower. I'm going to make cranberry sauce with cranberries and xylitol. We can't get turkey here. I'm not sure uh, where they sell turkeys, but I have never seen one. My father-in-law did have one one year, but we're just gonna eat a turkey or a chicken. We're gonna have some sweet potatoes, like candied yams, and I'm going to use a xylitol with that. I'm just gonna cook anti-pasta, anti-pesto, I don't know how you say it. Uh, I'm gonna grill these. <laughs> and buckwheat stuffing. Here's the, yeah, here's the homemade, um, homemade chicken broth that I made for that. Uh, buckwheat flour for gravy with the chicken broth. This might even be beef broth, I don't know. And sage and onion and celery. So that's all for the stuffing. Hopefully I can make some kind of like pumpkin pie kind of thing, maybe with some cream cheese and eggs. I'm not sure. I'm going to look it up and see what I can make. Um, oh, it's not going to be like a traditional dinner, but it's going to be a nice dinner tonight. Hopefully, hopefully I get it right. Hey, Raphael. Oh no. You don't like that apple? He reminds me of 1970 right now. No, you eat your food. You eat your food. He wants my eggs. He's got the same eggs. Nom nom nom. Eat your food. What? Eat your food, Raphael. That's your food. What? No, you eat your food and I eat my food. It's the same food. Goodness gracious, you're just starving. Eat what you got first and I'll give you some more. He's already ate one plateful, that's the second one. <laughs> Well, the Clalit just called me. That's a, that's a clinic. He's still crying over eggs. He's got some. He's got some eggs. He's got eggs. Look, look, you got eggs. Eat. Put it in your mouth. Look, right here in the mouth. Yeah, you're starving to death. Okay. Well, the Clalit called me, and that is um, like a clinic for the baby, and they want me to go in, and I was like, what do you want? Uh, so we need blood tests. And I said, okay, we'll do blood tests. And then they're like, oh, wait, no, it's a special thing. And I was like, okay, what's it, what's it for? Like <laughs> genetic testing? I don't know. And then a, another woman come on and she speaks English and she says, uh, it's for the flu. And I said, a vaccination? She said, oh, yes, vaccination. And I said, no, no, thank you. But it was specifically for Raphael, so... No, we don't do that. Nope.
I locked Kitty in the bathroom accidentally. I'm so sorry, Kitty. Kitty, yeah, Kitty. What the? What the? Did you give up? Did you give up? He likes my leg fat. He's squishing it. <laughs> you like my leg fat? It's squishy? Quit making me feel bad, kid. You're making me feel bad. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> mm, you saying I have cottage cheese thighs? Yeah, pick up your pieces there. Gonna get started on this holiday meal. I really should clean the house. It is tore up. Like he spilt puffs everywhere. He spilt, look, he got in the cabinets. Randy, I can't figure out what you're talking about with the bungee cord and the broom, the broomstick. I can kind of see what you're talking about. No, not really. I don't know what you're talking about. Maybe, maybe it was like two little short ends of, of a broomstick and then a wire. I don't know what you're talking about. I tried to figure it out. I really did. But I'm going to get started on the uh, Thanksgiving Thanksgiving dinner. I'm really excited, but I have no idea what I'm going to make for the uh, pumpkin stuff. It would be so much easier if we were just like eating normal foods like everyone else. That's really what is the hardest part of being gluten-free and sugar-free is that you don't eat your traditional food anymore. You have to start your own new tradition of food. But it's gonna happen. Uh, I'm thankful, right now I'm gonna say, I'm thankful that Hadar is accepting of my culture too because this is not his holiday. So, you know, he's going to celebrate it with me and we're going to come up with some stuff that we're thankful for. So right now I'm thankful for that, that he's very accepting of that. Happy Hanukkah to all that celebrate it. My father-in-law actually told us that uh, today is the only day in the history of the rest of the world time that Thanksgiving and Hanukkah are on the same day. You know, Hanukkah is like eight days long but today's the first day of Hanukkah. We are not actually going to light candles until the baby gets old enough to understand what it is. Um, as far as I can tell, there's no real like baby things. I mean, there's a bunch of candles and a bunch of talking. You know, you have to explain uh, what happened on these days. I celebrated it um, once with my mother and father-in-law. Um, we don't have a Hanukkah, which is, a, um, you know, the candelabra with all the candles on it. And I have been looking for a really nice one, like a forever one, a, a really good quality and pretty one. And I haven't found one yet. I found some really cheap ones, um, some cheap made. They're not really nice. And they were really cheap. And... I, I want one that's going to last forever. So I think I'm going to have to go to a store called Fox Home. It's pretty pricey. And uh, see if I can find one there. But yeah, if you celebrate Hanukkah, happy Hanukkah today. Look at this mess I'm going to have to clean up in the back. <laughs> Doing my cranberry sauce. It's cooking down. And cooking my pumpkin. Okay, this is a chicken. Just going to go in the crock pot. And the baby just got up, so I have to go get him out of the bed. But they keep the neck attached. Tadar loves the neck. He'll just eat that entire thing with the bone and everything. But I just wanted to show you that. I'm just going to keep this on here because the fat flavors the chicken. But they don't pluck the feathers off very well. So we can't eat the skin. Well, most of the skin here. I should turn it breast down for right now. You always got to slap your turkey on the back. Or your chicken in this case. Got a homemade rub on this. No, this is like 
all of my spices combined. It, it has a really nice flavor to it. And I dehydrated like a whole bunch of vegetables and ground them up. So that's what this is. The cranberry sauce is done. Just going to put it in this container and put it in the fridge. All this is is xylitol and cranberries that I got at the Russian store. Yummy. Russian stores are my favorite here. Thanks for babysitting. Yeah, I'm still cooking. Thanks. See ya. Hey, kitty, you're not doing your job. Hey. Best present ever. Best present ever. Oh. My pumpkin's just about done. Yeah, I got a mess on the stove. And this would be done if I ever turned it on. Okay, this is um, stuffing. What this is is buckwheat, onions, celery, uh, chicken broth or beef broth. I don't know which one it is. But, oh, and sage, salt, and pepper. I have never made buckwheat stuffing before, I don't think. Not like this. I've made buckwheat with sage in it. <laughs> so hopefully this is going to be good. What? What? What is that? I don't know. Okay. Okay, so Hadar's home. We're having Thanksgiving. Tomorrow we're going to go out and buy a Hanakia. We're going to look for one. Uh, we're going to go to that home store and do some other things for holiday tomorrow. And here's our spread. This is the buckwheat stuffing, cranberry sauce. I made some buckwheat gravy. That's a pumpkin pie, kinda, sugar-free, gluten-free. There's the chicken. Got some wine. I don't usually drink wine. And this is cauliflower mashed potatoes with butter. In other words, smashed cauliflower. <laughs> yeah. And baby's asleep. He just fell asleep in my arms, which he hasn't done that in <laughs> about six months, I think. Yep. So, honey, I was telling everybody that I was thankful today that you are so, uh, what do you call it? Accepting of my holiday here, my Thanksgiving. So, what are you thankful for? I don't know what, thanks. On the spot. Yeah, on the spot, well, people on YouTube who, you know, have really nice comments and keep Andrea going with her hobby here, which, you know, it's kind of her job too, but just, you know, it's hard to keep going when people don't like your videos and you guys did a good job <laughs> yeah. turning her up, except for a few, so that's nice, <laughs> thanks. Yeah, thanks a lot. <laughs> I do appreciate you guys very much. Each and every one, she reads everything. Yep. All right. All right. Time to eat. Blue flag over. <laughs> <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving. Okay. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving. This is my pumpkin pie that I made with, well, I had to cook the pumpkin, and then I put a little cream cheese in it, two eggs, stevia. I had to make the pumpkin, spi the pumpkin pie spice, and I think that's it. What do you think of my pumpkin pie? Is that the best you ever ate? You want some more pie? You want more pie? Mmm, chicken and pie. First Thanksgiving ever! First Thanksgiving for us too. Oh, where'd the bottle come from? Isn't this beautiful? We got this at the Russian market here. Look how beautiful that is. I really like the Russian markets. I'm going to repeat that like 10 times today. Chardonnay. They got stuff you can't get anywhere else. Mm, yummy. Mm. Yummy. Watching Jess Maxine. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. See you tomorrow. Come on, baby. Let's go to sleepy face on. So you'd come back here for a visit if you could? Oh yeah, definitely. Pull the first candle, the first knife out of the eight.
they delivered it.